Welcome to your dream and interpretation today. How are you doing? It's my pleasure to be here again today to handle your dreams that you have sent to me. I'm Paul S. Joshua. You watching this channel for the first time, wondering what's going on here? It's about dream and interpretation. You have dream bothering you. This is the right place for you. Sending your dreams and you get spirit guided interpretation following simple rule. Three simple rule. Your name, location, and write your dream in brief. Okay, I go straight to the ones we have today. Uh, the first dream is from uh, Prince. You say, hi, man of God, I'm Prince from Los Angeles. And uh, you said, I love your channel and need your help on this dream. I had a dream few days back. I saw in that dream my legs became a big tree. I could not walk again. My body was human being while my leg was a big tree with roots. And I saw great houses in front of me. Kindly help me know what this dream means. All right, uh, Prince from Los Angeles. Uh, you dreamed and you saw your legs became a big tree. Half of you was human being, the other half was a tree and with roots. And you couldn't walk again. And in front of you, you saw great houses. And you want to know what is God getting across to you? And your dream here is a very great message. And what is God telling you here? The Lord is telling you that he's going to establish you in an incredible manner. God wants to establish your business. God wants to establish your destiny, your life, in an awesome way that you cannot believe. That's why your legs turn to tree with roots. And your body is human being. So it's figurative. Meaning that now you're about to balance. Okay? God is about to give you like a hen's feet the bible says he established your feet like the hen's feet so in this context three was used so god want to give you establishment of your destiny of your business of your career that's what you are saying and you see as soon as you establish you start seeing the favor of god that's why you saw great houses in front of you so god establishing you and releasing supernatural blessings into your life that's what will happen so it's not a dream that you should be scared of is a dream you should thank God for and say, oh God, I thank you because you are about to establish me. You are about to give me a stand. You are about to make my feet stable. And from there, you bless the works of my hands. So that is what God has revealed to you, Prince, all the way from Los Angeles in the United States of America. So your dream is a good one. All right? Good. Uh, the next dream is from Hepsiva. Uh, Hefsiva, uh from Caribbean. You say from the Caribbean. You say, God bless you, Apostle. I dreamt it was raining. I saw from a window a vine tree. The leaves of the vine tree was clapping and praising God for the rain. Hefsiva, this is your dream from the Caribbean. You saw that it was raining from the window. You saw the vine tree while the rain was falling and the leaves were clapping and praising God. That's good because God is showing you that in no distant time is about to release his supernatural favor upon your life. His supernatural grace is about to be released upon your life. God is about to do something incredible with you that will provoke joy, excitement in your life. You can't believe it. That's what is about to happen to you because you've been through a lot. You've been through a lot. You know, it's been a hard moment for you some years past in your life. And in this dream, God is speaking to you. That look at what I'm about to do with you. I'm about to release my reign of favor upon your destiny. I'm about to release my blessing upon you. And this blessing is going to attract a lot into your life. It's going to bring joy, excitement, happiness, glory to God. That is what is about to happen to you, Hepsiva. All right? So this is what God will do with you. So celebrate in advance because God is about to turn your story around with a reign of favor that is coming upon your life. Your dream is an amazing one. So that's your dream, uh, Hepsiva, all the way from the Caribbean. Uh, the next dream is Dorin. Uh, Dorin Basai or so. You said, Pastor, I dream I was on my wedding. All right? But people laughing at me because I did not dress well. But time going. All people shocked because I was looking good. In this week, I dream again. People were looking at me, screaming. But I was trying to fix my blouse. The button was incorrect, please. All right, uh, Dorin, God is revealing to you here that he's about to also grant you a favor. 
And this favor is such a favor that people might not know because it's coming in a disguised form. God wants to disguisedly bless you. And some people might begin to ridicule you initially, but suddenly we see that you have just emerged with a favor. So don't let the ridiculing of people make your emotions to be weak. Because here, the overriding message is something good, something great is about to happen, even though people will not know. God is disgusted to blessing you. God is disgusting to bless you. That's what is happening here. So hold on to what God is about to do. People might feel, oh, I've been making mockery of you. The very thing they make mockery of you, the very thing they laugh you at, the very thing they are ridiculing you for, God is about to shock people with you. Doreen, that's what is happening here. God is about to shock people with you. Yet, people might see your inadequacies. They might laugh at your inadequacies, your incompetence. They might laugh at some things, your deficiencies. But don't worry. That is the reason why God is about to release His glory upon your life, to show forth His beauty. His show forth His favor upon you. Sometimes the very thing people laugh you for, the very thing people mock you for, are the things that God is going to bring in a supernatural way in your life. Anna, for example, was mocked by her colleague because she had no child. She was being ridiculed. But finally, God took Penina on her way and gave Anna a child that is stronger than all the children of Penina. None of the children of Penina make history, but the children of Anna made history, who is Prophet Samuel. You Can you imagine that? So that is the kind of dream you are having here. People are ridiculing you. People are mocking your deficiencies. But watch and see. Out of it, God will bring something great in your life that none of them will be able to stand you. That is your dream. This dream is to strengthen you. So stay focused in God and it will be well with you in Jesus' name. All right, I have the next dream here from Paul. Uh, Paul James from Italy. You said, I dreamt that someone threw a meat to me to eat. So I pick it and gave it to a dog beside me. All right, somebody gave you a meat to eat and then you pick the meat and gave it to a dog beside you. I mean, this is like an opportunity given to you and you do not appreciate it. And then you give it to somebody you feel of a lesser value than you. All right. So, but I still want you to be careful. Learn how to appreciate opportunities. Don't despise opportunities because opportunities can change your life. So the meat in this context is not a bad dream. It is like an opportunity given to you, a favor given to you, but you didn't appreciate it. And you throw it, you know, and leave it to someone who you feel is of lesser value. So please, I this dream, I think you should be careful. Don't despise favor given to you. When people show you favor, when God gives you favor, don't despise it. Because it could mean that you are given a favor and you just despise the favor because you didn't appreciate it. So please avoid that attitude of despising favor. No matter how something looks more, appreciate it. Okay? Even if it's not suitable enough, still appreciate it. Don't despise favor. Your dream shows that you despise favor a lot. All right? Good. The next dream is... Uh, Jano, you say hello, Pastor Jano from Saudi Arabia. You say, what does it mean when you dream of going back to school? Please. All right, Jano from Saudi Arabia. You see yourself in the dream and you go back to school. Now, in two contexts, this dream can go. In some cases, when you see yourself dream and you go back to school, it can be that there is a lesson you need to learn from your past. There is something wrong that you have not learned from and you must need to learn. There are instances, there are circumstances, there are experiences you have that God allowed them so you can learn something. And if you didn't learn your lesson, you have to go back and face the same experience so you can learn. Until you learn your lesson, you won't be out of that dream. So if you are having a dream of going back to school, that means you need to learn something from your past experience that you are not taking serious. And until you learn that lesson, that dream will not stop. The day you learn the lesson, God wants you to learn from something so you don't make further mistakes in your future then that dream stops from that moment so that is what it can mean in that context in that context you see yourself going back to school it can also mean you need to upgrade yourself all right spiritually morally and otherwise it can mean you need to upgrade all right in your skill it can mean you need to upgrade all right you need to upgrade because there is no end to learning no end to learning we are created to keep learning until the perfect day comes so you need to keep learning so when you see yourself going back to school in your career it can mean go and upgrade your skill go and enhance your skill so you can do better that can be another definition of your dream it can also mean that trials are coming all right when you find yourself going back to school it can also mean trials are coming 
temptations are on the way coming for you. So you must brace up and be prepared so that when such trials come, you are not taken unaware. From the dream, you have been given signal that watch it. You are going back to a trial. You are going back to face a trial. It's like going back to school. So face the trial and get yourself adequately prepared under the grace of God to face it and overcome it. So it does not necessarily mean you will battle with setback. All right. So try to understand which context of the definition I gave that apply to you. And then you embrace it and work with it and pray for grace to stand. If it's to upgrade your career, go back and upgrade, and upgrade your career. Upgrade your skill. And if it's a trial that is coming, ask the Lord for grace so that you can stand it. And if there's an experience in the past that Holy Spirit wanted to learn a lesson from that you haven't learned from, maybe sometimes people betray you in the past and you still relate freely, carelessly with people, you might see yourself going back to school. That means you need to go back to the past experience and learn some lessons so that you don't make the same mistake you make in the past. Things like this can come up in your dream. So this can be what God is showing you in this dream. I hope today's episode has been a blessing to you. Don't forget to sign up as my patron or you want to be my VIP. That will be interesting. When you're my VIP, you can talk to me. You can call me. You can discuss with me one-on-one, -on -one, whatever it is that is bothering you. Whatever is the problem you are going through, you can talk to me as a VIP and I'll be there to encourage you, to strengthen you, to pray for you, and to interpret your dream frequently. The link is at the description column, all right? You can sign up or you want to be my VIP, my number is there. Connect me through my WhatsApp and ask me how you can be my VIP. I'll tell you the obligations and I'll be there for you. God bless you. Thank you for watching today's episode. Let me know at the comment section how today's episode has been a blessing to you, all right? Don't forget. Knowing what your dream means is vital to your safety. Say it with me. Knowing what your dream means is vital to your safety. Bye for now. I see you in the subsequent episode. <music>